Hello and welcome to the 3D Experience SOLIDWORKS add-in, how to manage your SOLIDWORKS files with the 3D Experience Cloud. In this video, we'll go through a variety of different topics, how to register your team for sponsorship, log in and create collaborative space, install and add files to SOLIDWORKS add-in, open a part in SOLIDWORKS and save to cloud, and how to navigate the SOLIDWORKS add-in. The first step is to make sure your team is registered for sponsorship. You can do this by visiting www.solidworks.com first and register your entire team. Have your mentor register all the members. That way you can log into the platform and make sure all the members are there and it'll be easier once you're setting up a collaborative space. Once the team is registered, you can then go in and you can click on the compass symbol on the top left hand side and you can go down to the app called 3D Space. This app allows us to create different collaborative spaces for different projects, or in this case, the entire robotics project, all in one space. You're gonna click New Collaborative Space, choose a name for this collaborative space. In this case, we're gonna do Team Space, and then we're gonna leave it as private, but as you can see, there's a few other options we can choose. Click Create, and give it a moment to update, and there it is. Now, once this is in there, we can then move on to the next step of actually loading the SOLIDWORKS add-in. So we're gonna scroll down on the different apps and we're gonna click on the one called SOLIDWORKS add-in. We have two options here. We're gonna click all, install all roles containing SOLIDWORKS add-in. And this will go through two different installations. The first installation will be a hotfix. It'll be three point something. In this case, it's six, but as time goes on, obviously that number will increase as we make new revisions to it. It'll only take a few minutes, choose your location, and then continue, click next and install. The next thing, we're gonna do another one more hotfix, install that as well, and we're gonna get to the final step where we need to basically choose which area you wanna connect. In this case, I have a tenant called Academic California, and I wanna connect that to my computer. Once the step is complete, you can open a folder and you'll now see that you have 3D Experience Drive as a new folder on your computer. I'm gonna click and drag the existing SOLIDWORKS assembly into that drive. Now that it's in the drive, it's gonna start its process of uploading to the platform. And then I can go back to the platform, click on the compass, and then go down to the SOLIDWORKS add-in. We wanna open SOLIDWORKS this way so that it makes sure that the connection between the platform and SOLIDWORKS is working properly. Once SOLIDWORKS is open, we're gonna go check our add-ins to make sure that the 3D Experience add-in is set to turn on on startup. You'll see here we have both checked right now and startup, okay. And then you'll see we have a new icon on the design tree area with a compass symbol, and we're gonna go down and click accept all cookies. Next, we wanna open the part we originally added to the 3D Experience drive. We're gonna open the, the top assembly so that we have all the parts all in one. This will take a moment to open, depending on your computer stats. Once this is open, you'll see that on the right-hand side, we have a list of all the parts and all the sub-assemblies, but the status is still orange for the save icon. We're gonna go down to the bottom and click Save Active Window. By doing this, we're able to save all of those parts to the cloud, and then we'll be able to manage those easily as we're working on the part. We're not gonna change any settings here right now. As time goes on, you might be able to mess around and change different settings. We're gonna press okay, and this might take a moment to go through and make sure that everything is uploaded as this is a large assembly. Once all the parts are uploaded, you'll notice you have now green checks on each one. And just as an example, we can right click on the top assembly and click lock. By clicking lock, we're able to make sure that no one else can edit this assembly besides us. So this is perfect if you assign different sub-assemblies to different team members, or if you're working on something and you're or doing some thought and design on a piece of paper and you want to wait to make sure before you actually make changes to the CAD model or anything you like to do. Now there are a variety of other options in here and we have a learning path linked in the video below that you can go through and change and take a look at all those other options. In this case, I just want to show the settings area where we can go in and we can actually change the color of different settings so it's more obvious for yourself. We can even turn on other settings that we didn't originally have selected, such as creation date. Once the settings are how we like them, we can go back and right click on the top assembly 
and we can choose unlock so that other people can start editing it. We can also go to this new option called maturity. Maturity allows you to follow the process of the part throughout its life cycle from when we're working on it in work, or you want to freeze it so that it's done for the end of the season. And that way no one else can work on it so that it's perfectly done and we're working on the next year's version. It's as easy to change all of that to frozen. And then you can also right click on it again, go back to maturity and change it back to in work. Now those are all the topics we're gonna cover in this video. Once again, if you want some more learning and some more understanding of this SOLIDWORKS add-in, please visit the links below and we hope you have a great day.